In the rural countryside of southeast Nebraska, John and Tim Merman think they're onto something big. They run Glacial Till Vineyard, but are also trying their hand at something new for this area. They're producing thousands of gallons of hard apple cider. So these are basically our kind of primary fermentation tanks. Cider's very similar to winemaking. I mean, ev everything's pretty much the same uh, as far as clarifying it, also as far as fermenting it. You know, beer, wine, and cider for fermentations go. They're all very similar. For Glacial Till, the hard cider process starts here at this cider mill about a half hour from the winery. This is where they get their apple juice. Kimmel Orchards is doing, I feel like, the hard work because pressing that juice is so much work. I mean, it's, it's pretty grueling days. We're skipping that step. We actually start with the, the juice and it's, it's a whole lot easier. Kimmel Orchard is seeing more of that hard work and they say it's because of the increased demand for hard cider. The first year that we were here, I think we did 12,000 gallons. And last year we hit, it was just shy. I mean, we're talking a couple gallons short of 20,000 gallons. And then this year we're gonna be right up there again. John Merman up at Glacial Till, he called me, that was three, four years ago, just wanting a small test batch. And that's what most people do. With him, he's had a really good success with it. When this raw apple cider gets back to Glacial Till, it ferments for up to a month in 2,000 gallon tanks. The alcohol content usually ends up at around four to seven percent. A variety of flavors are also added here. We've done hibiscus ginger, we've done a, a dry hopped one, we've also done a hopito. The hopito is mint leaves and hops. After the cider is carefully tested and filtered several times, it's clarified in what are called bright tanks, where it's chilled and carbonation is added. It's then put into kegs and sent out to local bars, farmers markets, and Glacial Till's tasting room. We started off as a winery and the, the cidery grew pretty rapidly and, and now we're almost double the production of what we've done in wine. The Midwest isn't known for hard apple cider. Glacial Till is one of only a handful of wineries in Nebraska producing it. And they only started because of a bad grape year in 2014 that left extra capacity. Now, hard apple cider could be a big part of Glacial Till's future. It's kind of crazy to see that People have tried it at festivals or bars and are calling us to see if they can get it. Hard cider has seen a jump in popularity over the past few years. Although its growth has started to slow a bit, craft hard cider is still a popular alternative to beer and wine. Gluten intolerances, you know, a lot of people can't drink some beers because of uh, gluten intolerances and all of our ciders are gluten free. He says there's no reason why the Midwest can't have a place in the hard apple cider world in the future. Lots of land, plenty of resources, and a newfound appetite for a beverage that's been around for a while. For Harvest Public Media, I'm Jack Williams.